It's the Russell Bound Show! In this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing understanding the animation palette. And in fact, I'm going to be talking about working with the timeline-based animation palette, as well as the frame-based animation palette. Let's get started. I'm going to start with frame-based animation. You'll notice over here to the right that I have a document made up of five different numbered layers over here, as we count down here. Then a circle layer here, and a white background. In this first project, I'm going to go over here to this flyout menu over here under my animation palette. Click and hold and select Make Frames from Layers. Just like that. And I get these layers here within my animation field. It's not quite right though because I want my background to be consistent and I want the circle to be consistent. So I simply turn the circle layer on in the first field, which then extends across all the fields. Then I target the background layer here select my flyout menu and match layer across frames clicking OK. Now that's looking much better. Then I'm going to delete the first frame and the second frame and I have my results. But wait! I need to reverse this order so again from the flyout menu I can easily go up here to reverse frames. This is a feature only found in this mode the ability to reverse frames. Click and we've got it. Then if I select all of these here within this animation palette, I can easily change the number of seconds that they hold on the screen. I'm going to select one second per frame. Now this is unique to this particular animation mode, the ability to set the individual seconds for each frame because this is designed for creating simple animated GIF projects. Now, with all of these set this way, we should be able to target the first one and hit the play button and watch our countdown. So, we've completed a simple animation using this technique. Let's start this project all over again and use the timeline technique. I'm going to go back over here to my history palette, rewind back in time to our original Photoshop file. Now remember, when you open up a Photoshop file, the default here is set for 10 seconds at 30 frames per second for this particular project. Now first, before I start any project in a timeline based field, I always set my duration. I'm going to click here within this pop-up menu right here. Over here I'm going to select Document Settings. In this case, I want to set this to 5 seconds because I want each of the numbers to appear 1 second on my screen. I'm also going to adjust my frame rate down to one frame per second, right here. And I'm going to click OK. So I've set that all up right up front. Now I want to animate these frames. To do this correctly, you must select all of the frames that you want to animate first and exclude those frames that you want to be consistent across your animation. Now I'm going to go over here select my flyout menu here and select make frames from layers just like that and look at this it's now made a frame for each one of my items and it's kept this circle and the white background as a constant now let's play our animation by selecting our spacebar key and there's our animation so you've just seen two ways that will help you understand how the animation palettes work you saw in my first presentation how I used the frame-based animation to create this animation. And then here in this final presentation, I showed you how to animate something with the timeline-based animation. Give these techniques a try.